Welcome to the project demonstration of automatic paddy crop protection from rains using Arduino Uno and which is getting power supply from the solar power. So here the inputs are like solar panel to the battery through this charging circuits. So the battery power supply will be utilized for this automatic rain roof controlling system by the Arduino Uno board based on this rain sensor input. So we have interfaced this rain sensor input to the Uno board. It's so A0 pin of our Uno board directly and next this automatic rain roof mechanism controlled by this L293 motor driver. So as you know that in real time when the farmers are trying to place this their uh, crops for the sunlighting lighting purpose then automatically if the accidentally rain comes then automatically this uh, crops will be damaged due to the rain. So in order to protect that so we are going to making use of this automatic roof. So whenever there is no rain uh, only sunlight was ejected then automatically it will go to the back position then it will be dried up with the sunlight. And when the rain detects the sensor will inform to the Uno board then automatically the Uno board will drive this mechanism to the forward motion in order to protect this crops from the rain by using this L293D motor driver. The whole system getting power supply from this rechargeable battery which can be recharged in two ways. One is the solar panel. So if you want to charge a battery from the solar panel we need to connect this S at this T or S slots and B was be connected directly. So then as you can see the small lighting is appearing here due to this low lighting so the intensity is low. So when we place this under the full sunlight then we will get the sufficient voltage to recharge this battery. So if there is no sunlight but if you want to charge a battery so we need to place the transformer at this TRS slot and then directly on the power supply to this transformer. So then automatically there is a high light indication over here so it will be fully charged in a duration of minimum 6 hours maximum 8 hours. So using the transformer or using the solar panel so it will be fully charged in a duration of 6 to 8 hours maximum. Right. So before on the kit we should take care of the batteries fully charged only condition. And now this is the main on off switch. Above is on, below is off. So on and off. So keep the rain sensor in the dry condition. Let us see on. So as of now there is no rain on from the rain sensor. So that's why there is only one LED indication over here. So when the rain was detected then automatically the second light will be on directly. So let us place the water droplets on the sensor. So you can see that the second light will get on and automatically the mechanism will move forward direction and on this uh, this loader setup we are using the rack and pitting mechanism. So using that mechanism we are going to convert the rotation of the DC motor will be converted into the linear motion means circular rotation to linear motion with help of rack and pinion mechanism. So now till the rain droplets dries means till the rain completes it will be close position only. When it is normal condition then automatically it will move backward direction. Right. So when we play the droplet we should take care of the another light should be get switched on. Right. 